Welcome to Harwich uh, fortifications on the side of the river. I just tripped. <laughs> uh, the now, oh, let me get my breath back. I'm pooped. That's Felixstowe over there, what you're looking at at the moment. This is what Harwich has to offer. Now, please understand this is close to the public. I've got special permission to be here. And unfortunately, some people have took it upon themselves to gain entrance and start stealing the steel off the window frames and so forth. The police have been contacted. Uh, the scrapyards are now being contacted in Suffolk and Essex. And we're hoping we can retrieve those windows on, on another building. Organisers of this place are trying to restore this place to its former glory for the use of you. So you can come in and enjoy this. So please return them. We'd be very grateful. Anyway. This has been here since World War I. Various tunnels underneath all this lot that have been closed off during the World War II. There is a rumour that there is a tunnel that runs under the river, but it's just a rumour. Some people that have lived here all their lives have, they have not found that tunnel. Now, um, somewhere on this corner, and I think it's where that bit of concrete is down there, there is another bunker around on the peninsula somewhere. And that is the uh, mine room where there would be controls that would explode mines that are under the river. And there is another one on the other side of the river. Um, see if we can get the camera steady and zoom in. There is another one in the fort over there, Felixstowe Fort, which is there. You've also got some winch room, some spotter's rooms, just on that bit of spit down there where that bungalow is somewhere. There is some other stuff, I'll keep straight. And basically these two forts used to work together in unison. There was a chain with a net that ran across the river that would be hauled in when passing ships would come in. There would be a spotter's room, um, there would be spotlight rooms, there would be um, a winch room over there and two mine rooms. One this side of the river and one over that side of the room. You've also got spotter towers here, which are there. There's one there and there's another one further down. As you can see, some people are in it now. And you've got gun positions. You've got a gun position here, and you've got another one there, and there's another round one further up the top. Now, if you note, you can see that the concrete's been all smashed out. The military came in here just after the Second World War, and to get the guns out, they smashed all the concrete roofs in. I mean, it's a standard thing. Some of you will know this. The guns do exist. Funny enough, the guns that sat in these positions, they do still exist. So it'd be nice to know if they actually could get them back and reinstalled. There's a lot of restoration to be done down here. This place really is crumbling. The kids, uh, the locals have got in, explorers have got in. The place has been trashed. The army trashed it as well after World War II finished. So there's the brief history of it. There's also a fort here on this side of the river, which you can't see from here at the moment. Um, that was built by the locals during the Napoleonic uh, plight. The locals' uh, businesses came in and actually built it. Even the bricks were made here in Harwich, from what I understand. And there used to be some kind of fort sitting on this site. And then in World War I, it got tore down and this place was put in. So let's start exploring. Let's have a look around here. Be careful where I stand. I mean, you've still got the original steels which would have ran around the outside of this. And you've got the metal rail line thing for the guns to slide on. There's a lot of stuff that still exists. That's what I love about this place. I came here last week to do some filming. And when I got home, I checked the field footage, 20 odd clips, all gone. The whole lot, nothing worked. There's a radar station nearby. We suspect that the radar station interfered with everything. Really cool place. Got another room over here, we'll go up steps in a minute. Oh, another one here, look. The young lad who used to explore this place warned me and trap doors in the floors. You, you drop down a few meters as well if you don't expect them if you're walking through here in the dark. This is the entrance in with a tunnel system behind, which we will go in and have a look in a minute. 
I'm going to go up the staircase over here and have a look at the observation post, give you an idea of what the view was like during World War II. No room up. Sketchy because all the framework's gone. Now we're in the top one. So you can see the views. Oh, that's interesting. We scan in naturally. I wonder what that is. I've not seen that before. wasn't there during the war. There was a, uh, uh, oh God, what's the name of that place? Ganges, somewhere nearby here. Um, between that part and this part, two dividing rivers, the center central part of the river. Ganges was over there, and I think they stored during the war, sorry about the wind, they stored during the war all the submarines when Germany surrendered. I can't remember, that was World War One. World War II. You've still got pipe work in place, you've still got shutters and the handles. Everything's seized up but it's still there. It's all got the potential to work again. Now we'll uh, have a look at that underground bit. That door which is a different one, you've still got all the original hangers with graffiti look I mean this place is just so cool shelving above it I reckon so I reckon it was coats and overalls and the helmets would be above you've got a couple of plinth areas here so I don't know what they're for it could be anything I mean you've got some pipes there so it could be shower area contamination anything more hooks here look you can see there was a lot of soldiers here operating these guns looking at all these hooks there was a lot of people right i'm at the back end of it and i'm now at the second gun position if you look on the floor you can still see all the markings that were left. That's still got its bolts in the centre. And you can see where they used the corrugated iron to make up the shuttering. Man this place is it's really good. Light. There's been a light there, I reckon. Oh, that has to be a way down. Here we go. More original railings. I don't know what these hooks are for, though. Now, I saw an underground bit somewhere around here. Where is it? Might have to go back up. Stills on the floor here. Fireplace, look. I reckon this might have been an officer communications point. No, it's not metal, it's wood. So this would have had wooden floorboards. What's this? Plastic grating. Fireplace there. There would have been a belly stove or something. But we're going to have to go back up because I can't 
can't find that tunnel. I know there's another one to the left of me, but I wouldn't see the one to the right. So it was over this side. And when I came last week, I never came this end. I never saw all of this. through here it's more building across but we came to here whether I can get down here or not I don't know this is going to prove tricky seeing that from the other end so there would have been a lift here then so I reckon this might be ammo storage it's original light fitting someone's been magnet fishing down here but look at it is that what I think that is no it isn't Carriage at first. Hmm. Hey, look at that. There, look. I reckon that's where that light fitting fell from. Where is it? Three points, yep. I reckon that came from up there. So I reckon we've had metal thieves in here, stripping the place out. Now I've got to get up those flaming stairs again. It's hard enough getting down here. Oh. Okay, now. Excuse my language. Shoot there, look. Door. Well, that's all I hope. Was that the main doorway for that? That's the main doorway. Right. Well, we've come up here. How do I get down? It's totally overgrown. Right. That was me, Mr. Step. That hurt.
the original winch there, look. Original woodwork still. This place is amazingly complete, considering that the locals and the public have got in here and done so much damage. I'm going to show you something very special. I've been in here before this one. I'm going to show you something really, really special. This way. Okay, maybe it was not this one then. So there's a main entrance here that's been blocked off. Where do I see that? Must be this side. There it is. Check that out. Hello, the chain is gone, it was down here. This is what pisses me off. People that think they can just come in and steal. Either for their collections or for scrap merchants to make money. This is all important artifacts dating back to the day. Now, to appreciate it, you've got to be into the scene, as I am. But truthfully, if you don't give a shit about history, then you're not going to give a shit about the things you find in history. So you're just going to smash it up and scrap it. And shame on you. But yeah, that is so cool. Here's the volunteers. Now wandering around from the main gate, wandering around to the left, no, right side, which is just down here. And apparently, I need to be very careful because the tunnels down here have trap doors. I'm hoping this young lad will show me where they are. Check the tank. Water tank. Right. What we got going on here? I think I've been in this one before. Yeah, I have. We've got that engine plimp there. Unfortunately, it's very difficult to see. torch isn't as bright as I thought it was. It goes all the way out this side. Got the original tiles. The chute there. Water channel. An entrance that was once bricked off. Right, what have we got here then? I think I've been in that one. I'll come back to that. Let's see where that lad disappeared to. Oops, now I'm lost. Right. He went over there, didn't he? 